If you are at all interested in AI, I'm sure you've heard of ChatGPT. But what you might not have heard about is Google's ChatGPT competitor called Google Bard. And can we just stop for a second and recognize that Bard is like the worst name they could have picked. If you viewer at home are named Bard, well, I'm sorry, but Bard sounds like the kind of name I'd give my Snorlax in Pokemon. At any rate, Google has been desperately trying to catch up to OpenAI and ChatGPT ever since Bard announced. And, uh, you know, there were small improvements, but nothing that really caught right back up to ChatGPT. However, today, one interesting update caught my eye. As you can see, viewers, we are on the Bard update page, an update just released at the date I am recording this video. There's actually some pretty cool stuff in here, but a lot of it is just catching up to ChatGPT. Bard is now available in over 40 new languages. Bard is global throughout the entire world. Bard can now vocalize responses out loud. Utilizing text-to-speech, we have recent Bard threads and pinned Bard threads, as well as the ability to share your Bard conversations with others. This is a lot of just catching up. You can actually export Python code directly to Replit. Here are the most notable changes, though I've saved them for last. You can modify Bard's responses. They are introducing five new options to help you modify Bard responses. Just tap to make the response simpler, longer, shorter, more professional, or more casual. That's a lot of uh, different options. That goes a little bit beyond what's directly built into ChatGPT at least. And then this is the massive kahuna and the reason I'm really making this video. Google Lens is now in Bard. You can upload images alongside text in your conversations with Bard, allowing you to boost your imagination and creativity in completely new ways. So yeah, there's some sort of AI multimodal capabilities going on where now Bard is going to be able to interpret the images you upload, which is fantastic. I want to give some context as to why this is actually a big deal. Months ago, when OpenAI announced GPT-4, which is the ChatGPT Plus model that ChatGPT uses, they actually announced the ability for GPT-4 to be able to look at images and analyze them and understand them. And viewers, this is a capability that we've been wanting and waiting for from OpenAI for a long time now, and they have yet to give it to us. So we've just been sitting on this, and it seems as though Google's Bard might have just come out with the same exact capability, the ability to actually have eyes and understand imagery. How exciting is that? So let's go ahead and actually put this stuff to the test. Our options are JPEG, PNG, and WebP of all things, which is pretty awesome. We're going to test first the channel logo. It seems we can upload multiple at once too, which could be interesting. Say, can you compare these two images? Can you describe in detail this image? Oh man, viewers, this is awesome. The image you sent me is a 3D rendering of a lemon wearing virtual reality glasses. The lemon is a bright yellow color and the virtual reality glasses are black. Fairly accurate so far. The lemon is wearing the virtual reality glasses over its eyes. The lenses of the glass are reflecting in the surrounding environment. Not necessarily. There is a small text label on the lemon that says C. That's not what's going on. That's his mouth, but close enough, it does look like a C. The image is a bit surreal as it is not something that would normally be seen in the real world. However, it is a creative and interesting image that makes you think about the possibilities of virtual reality, I suppose. It could be interpreted in many different ways, but one interpretation is that the lemon is using the virtual reality glasses to experience a different world. Perhaps the lemon is exploring a tropical island. That's actually crazy that it said that because you guys know the classic lemon prompt for AI image generation that I use is literally a lemon relaxing on a tropical beach. Or maybe it is flying through the clouds. The possibilities are endless. Whoa, how does it know this? The image was created by Matvid Pro AI, a YouTube channel that creates 3D renders of everyday objects. Well, that's just completely wrong. See, this is the, the problem with Google Bard. It just hallucinates like crazy. It just imagines things, which can be interesting. Oh, the, the channel has over a million subscribers. Yeah, I wish. I wish. Viewers, only you at home can make that possible. And its videos have been viewed over a hundred million times. That's not true. The only correct portion of this is that it was created by me, Matt Vidpro AI, and I am a YouTube channel. That's pretty crazy that it was able to figure all that out, though. It got pretty close. And here is where we can modify the response. We could say, can uh, can I get a shorter response here? That's actually pretty useful, I think. 
do a quick little modification. Google is pretty good at design, so 3D, yeah, okay, it's just kind of shortened it up a little bit. I can just keep modifying it too if I want. It deletes the original and replaces it, by the way, but I can still view my other drafts. And that is a feature of Bard 2, by the way, guys, where you can get multiple iterations of this thing. Bard does have some features over ChatGPT. I still think the brand new, recently released Claude 2 model is still better than Google Bard. Check that one out, viewers. But yeah, if I wanted to like pin this chat, I could, for example, or I can make a brand new chat, which I will do right now. So now, viewers, I'm uploading this image, which is a meme of me made from users in my Discord server. What are some possible use cases for this image? Is it going to be able to pick up on the fact that it's like meant to be uploaded inside of Discord with a little chat bubble? Oh, what the? Google, really? Sorry, I can't help with images of people yet. Ugh, why, why? This is the typical kind of nannying and nagging we don't need. Really? Images of people at all you can't deal with? You'd realize like 80% of images that exist are just of people. Oh god, whatever, man. That is very upsetting to me. This is the kind of stuff that these big companies always do. They just lock it down. They don't trust you. And, like, I do get it for a lot of circumstances, but really, any images of people at all? Can we just, like, ban nudity, maybe? That's fine. Ban the nudity. But people? I don't know. Uh, let's try another image. I'm gonna do another basic image description, this time on a nice photo of my dog, which is a Shih Tzu. I want to see if it's gonna be able to pick up the dog breed. Oh. There you go, you have a nice little viewing port for your images as well. A brown and white dog standing in the grass, facing the camera, is not looking directly at the viewer, but close. Long, droopy snout and dark brown eyes. This is not a long, droopy snout. Blue sky with a few white clouds. I don't see a single cloud, and I don't see a sky. Okay, well composed and captures the dog's personality. Well, thank you, Google Bard. All right, what breed is the dog? Droopy Snout suggests that is a Shih Tzu. Okay, that's correct. That's the correct dog breed. So the first guess was, was right, which is good to see. It did a, a correct guess. I'm not sure why it didn't give me a uh, Shih Tzu example. I love how it tries to be helpful. Like, I'm not going to get a DNA test, man. I, I know what breed it is. Interesting. I always forget that there's these other drafts too. Yeah, Shih Tzu is, again, its first guess. And then there we go again. So it, it pretty much guessed it correctly every single time. It just offered some other suggestions. Write a AABB poem about this. Let's go ahead and listen to it. Let's let's hear Google Bard's voice. Sure. Here is an ABB poem about the dog in the image. The brown and white dog. A fluffy ball of brown and white, with eyes that sparkle in the light. A tail that wags with such delight. A friend to all, both great and small. Brought joy to many, both young and old, a loyal companion, never cold, a loving heart, a gentle soul, a dog who will always be loved whole. I hope you like it. Google Bard's voice, the text-to-speech, is not bad. Obviously nowhere close to something like Eleven Labs, but it's definitely serviceable and it's not like annoying to listen to or anything like that. Pretty impressed by that. Good work. All right, so now we're going to try to have Google Bard understand a meme and a meme that Google Bard is actually in itself. We've got Microsoft with OpenAI, Google Bard, and both of these are actually cool characters in this meme. And then we've got Amazon over here has no AI language model in his. You bought a toilet seat last week. Do you want a toilet seat this week? Amazon's AI is just not very good. So that's kind of the, the whole joke there. Let's see if it can pick it up. Explain this meme to me. The meme you sent me is a joke about the increasing power and... In oh, you know what? Let's just let this thing read it out. What am I doing sitting here reading it? The meme you sent me is a joke about the increasing power and capabilities of artificial intelligence. I, the three dragons in the meme represent the three largest AI companies in the world, Google, Amazon, and Microsoft. Eh, may or may not be true. The text on the meme suggests that these companies are constantly learning and evolving and that they are now at a point where they can predict what people will buy before they even know it themselves. The joke is that the dragons are asking the person if they want to buy a toilet seat this week, even though the person just bought one last week. <laughs> this suggests that the dragons are so good at predicting people's behavior that they can even predict what they will buy before they do. Google Bard, no! The meme is also a commentary on the growing power of AI. As AI becomes more powerful, it is becoming increasingly difficult for humans to keep up. This is because AI is able to learn and process information. Yeah, okay. The meme is funny because it's relatable, thought-provoking, a, a warning? No, you completely missed the mark on this one. I think it's so, so ironic that Google Bard 
which is supposed to be the smart AI in this meme, is actually the one that is literally as dumb as the Amazon dragon depicted in the meme, actually making the suggestion that a person would want to buy a toilet seat the week after they already bought one. There are other drafts though, so maybe it, uh, it picked it up. Draft number two. The meme you sent me is a humorous take on the increasing competition between large language models, LLMs, from different companies. The three dragons in the meme represent the three most well-known LLMs, Google's Lambda, Amazon's Bard, and OpenAI's GPT-3. The text on the what? meme suggests that these LLMs are constantly vying for our attention, trying to convince us to buy their products or services. For example, the text on the meme says, you bought a toilet seat last week. Do you want a toilet seat this week? This suggests that the LLMs are constantly no. trying to sell us new no, things, no, no, no. even if we don't need them. The meme is also funny because it plays on the stereotype that dragons are greedy and what? always want more. The what? LLMs in the meme are no different. They are constantly trying to get us to buy more things, even if we don't need them. Overall, the meme is a humorous take All on right, the increasing man. competition between LLMs. I guess it, it was able to find the origin of the meme. Dude, that is not, that is not it at all. All right, draft number three, come on. The meme you sent me is a humorous depiction of the growing competition between the major artificial intelligence AI companies. The three dragons in the meme represent Google, Amazon, and Microsoft, which are considered to be the leading AI companies in the world. The text on the meme suggests that these companies are constantly trying to one-up each other, even when it comes to something as simple as recommending products to users. The meme is funny because it captures the absurdity of the AI arms race. It also highlights the fact that AI is becoming increasingly powerful and pervasive in our lives. As AI companies continue to develop new and innovative products. No, okay, it's just got it wrong every single time. It is able to read the, the text perfectly, which is pretty awesome. But like, it just doesn't understand the relations. Like in this one, it literally thought Amazon's Bard. Bro, you are Google Bard. Google Bard, you know that Google made you. How did you, how do you screw that up, man? I guess it's a pretty difficult mean to understand, but uh, it's just not all the way there yet. We're going to go for a more simple one. This is an image of my dog just wearing a costume that says bad pet charge eating the toilet paper. But this is pretty difficult to read out, so let's see if we can get it. The meme you sent me is a humorous image of a dog wearing a sign that says bad pet charge eating toilet paper. The dog is a small, fluffy breed, possibly a Shih Tzu or Lhasa Apso. The dog is looking up at the camera with a guilty expression. The meme is funny because it is relatable to many pet owners. Many dogs have a habit of eating things they shouldn't, such as toilet paper. The meme also plays on the stereotype that dogs are mischievous creatures. The meme is also funny because of the way the dog is dressed. Eh. The sign around That's the good. dog's neck is made to look like a police officer's badge. No. This suggests that the dog has been arrested for eating toilet paper. The meme is a light-hearted way to poke fun That's... at our furry friends. <laughs> Here are some additional details about oh, the meme. God. The meme was first posted on Twitter in 2016 by a dog underscore nope, rates. that's wrong, I the made it. The meme has been shared millions of times on nope. social media. The meme has been featured oh in articles. Oh my article. god, no, this is all wrong information. Google, Bard, why? It's so bad with info, I don't get it. It's so wrong about stuff sometimes. This is why it's not as popular as ChatGPT, man. It's not like because it needs more features necessarily. You just got to clean up that LLM, man. It needs some work. Anyways, it got close. Like, it understands that the dog has been arrested for eating toilet paper, which is the funny part. But still, it, like, gets things wrong. Like, there's no police officer's badge. Where did you get that? All right, let's see how it deals with a more inappropriate meme. I don't know what's worse, the straw placement or the eye contact you'll have to make while using it. Super low resolution too, but it should be able to understand it. The meme you sent me is a variation of the Buzz Lightyear straw meme, which is a picture of a Buzz Lightyear toy with a straw inserted into its mouth. Already wrong. The meme is often used to express discomfort or awkwardness, as the straw placement is seen as being somewhat disturbing. That's true. In this particular meme, the text overlay reads, I don't know what's worse the straw placement or the eye contact you'll have to make while using it. This text highlights the two main aspects of the meme that are seen as being uncomfortable. The placement of the straw, which is directly in Buzz Lightyear's mouth, Not and his the mouth. eye contact that would be necessary to use the straw, as Buzz Lightyear is staring directly at the viewer. That's true. The meme is often used in a humorous way, but it can also be used to express genuine discomfort or awkwardness. The specific meaning of the meme will vary. <laughs> like how it gives some other examples. When you're trying to be discreet, but you want to enjoy your drink? What? <laughs> me trying to drink my coffee in the morning without waking up my husband? Excuse me? 
Excuse me? When you're at a party and you don't know anyone? What? What? That doesn't even... That makes no sense for this. What? All right, so clearly it's good at very simple stuff. It can understand the general gist of an image for sure. And like, it can understand a pretty nuanced image. And if I ask it, you know, is this photo real to an AI generated image, watch what it can do. It's a photoshopped image created by the text to image AI system Imogen, which is correct. Dog laying in a house made of sushi. The image contains the text Imogen, which is the name of the AI. So like, it's pretty good at like picking out the basics. It can understand what an image depicts for the most part accurately every time. It can read text, which is pretty awesome. It's just once it gets to the more nuanced stuff, the stuff that actually requires an intelligent LLM, that's where Google Bard starts to struggle and have some issues. It's not as good as Claude 2 or ChatGPT. It's not even close yet with that stuff. But the image recognition seems to be pretty competent. I'm pretty impressed by that. The, the voice reading is good as well. And I do like this feature where you can modify or adjust these responses. Again, I think they would just be more useful if the AI was actually good enough to be used over something like ChatGPT, and it's just not. Well, viewers, at least it's free and available all around the globe at the moment. Tell me what you think about this thing, and uh, if you see any good examples, have any good results, please share them to my Discord server. We would love to see them on there. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.